Today I want to talk to you about Urban Tactical Pants. These are the trousers that I wear day in, day out for every occasion. Work, shooting, doing the garden, driving my 4x4, whatever it may be, this is what I do it in. So the postman today has delivered me two new pairs, one in shadow grey or one in khaki. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off by taking the khaki ones out, out of the packaging. Now the Urban Tactical Pants, they come in four different fabric types. You've got your cotton ones, which are 97% cotton and 3% spandex. You've got a denim version, which are 80% cotton, 19% polyester and 1% spandex. You have a poly cotton version, which is 58% cotton, 40% polyester and 2% spandex. Then you've got the ones that I always buy, the ripstop version. I've always been a fan of ripstop. These are 60% cotton, 37% polyester and 3% spandex. Helicon also do an outdoor tactical pants, um, which are based on the UTPs, same design. So everything I'm going to show you today, they look exactly the same, but they have, are made of a four way stretch fabric, which is 93% nylon, 7% spandex, and it has a Teflon coating. So we'll get started then, okay? So you can see on the on the tags here that it's telling you that it's got YKK zippers, so you know good quality stuff. Um, I tend to buy these in shadow grey, the khaki, the green, or the coyote type colours. Um, it's just the colours that I like. And we'll start off right at the top. Okay, so we've got at the top Velcro fastening over our zipper, okay, to keep everything nice and secure. The belt loops, again, are great and sturdy. Um, Helicon do a belt, uh, I am wearing it now, but it's just out of shot. That goes with uh, these pants nicely. On the back, sewn in, there's a flat piece of elastic, okay. In this, just gives an extra snug fit uh, keeps everything where you want it while you're, you're being active. Okay, so we've got 12 pockets in total. Now everything on the trousers are symmetrical, so what's on this side is on this side. Okay, so we'll kind of fold them so we can get them in shot. So up front we've got our normal front pocket, there'll be one on the left and one on the right. I'm hoping that you can see here that it's got a reinforced ridge on it, okay, and this is for when you're carrying things, maybe you've got um, pens or flashlights or knives that have belt clips on them and, uh, you know, if they're on and off all the time, that's just going to stop them from wearing out. Now, quite often... Uh, like I said, I wear mine for work and I'll be up a ladder and I don't want to have to put my tools down and often I've got my impact driver hanging off it or, you know, my tape measure, something like that. So it's great to have that extra bit of durability there. Moving round to the back of those, this is the, the back pocket, okay, so it's got quite a large opening. Yeah, and it, again, it's good and deep. And inside it has another little pocket. This again is perfect for flash knife, flash knives, excuse me, flashlights or multi tools. Okay, so he fits in there quite nicely. And he goes all the way down in there. And you know, it's just the right size, not to rattle around and get on your nerves. We'll pull him out. Next, we'll move on to the thigh pockets. And what I really, really like about these thigh pockets is that they are angled forward ever so slightly. So the trousers themselves are really ergonomic, okay? Everything just works. 
These are angled forward slightly. You've got a zipper on the main part. It's a good size and it's pleated. So if, you, if you've got anything a little bit bigger in there, it can spread out a little bit. And the front portion of it, again, secured down by Velcro. This is the perfect size um, for if you've got a modern mobile smartphone of a normal size, not like those little handheld tablets. So I'm talking here, yeah, iPhones, fives, sixes, sevens, eights, tens, okay? They're gonna fit in there absolutely beautifully, just like that, okay? Um, also Samsung's, I suppose, anything that's not their tablet variant of, of the phones that they do these days will also fit quite nicely. And then I will try to get a quick advertisement in there. Like I said, you've got one of those on the other side, so what else might you keep in there? Well, if you're into your tactical wallets, you might keep your wallet in there. Okay, no dramas. What also fits inside there, um, if you're not in a normal situation, let's say, AR mags fit in there. No dramas. You need a couple of spare mags. You've got two pockets there on the front of your of your thighs, which are going to hold them. No problem. Okay. Just before we finish up with the pockets, just on the inside, we've got two more pockets here and here. Okay. These basically face up on a forty-five degree angle. And these are for keeping, well, I suppose you could keep anything you like in them. If you're in England, you'd probably keep loose change in them. Um, if you're anywhere a little bit more exciting, you could possibly keep a knife in there. Again, because it moves out at a 45 degree angle, when you sit down and bend over, it doesn't actually dig into you. It moves away quite nicely. And I suppose, again, not for England, You may want to keep a spare mag in there if you really are living in some kind of urban jungle. Again, it's quite comfortable in there. You don't really notice it and feel it because that pocket is designed so nicely. Okay. All right then, so moving on to the fit and the shape of these pants. They do fit extremely well. Around the knees, there's extra fabric. It's also double lead, and you can actually fit a knee pad in there. Um, so that's great if, you, if you're gonna be doing a lot of kneeling, whether that's because you're working or you're building decking or you are in an environment where you've gotta get down on a knee to survey the land in front, then so be it. You can pop some knee pads in there, no problem whatsoever. You can, if you like, Thread some strings into the bottom, okay? If you feel like you want to pull these tight, it's not something that I ever feel the need to do. There's other ways to get around that. It's got what we call a technical cut on it as well, so there's no straight lines when it comes to the legs, okay? The, it kind of moves forward, like with the shape of your knee, so it comes down your thigh and then bends at the knee and comes backwards down this way and it's, it's a really nice and comfortable shape. Importantly, the wash nice and the dry nice, okay, that's also important too. They don't go awry that way. Um, and to be honest, I don't think there's really too much more to say other than I will continue buying these. Uh, it's an absolute revelation, I think. I've been through the the BDUs and SFUs, and what I really like about these pants in particular is that they don't look too military. You don't you don't see them on and think, oh, military there, look at that. And um, the they're exactly what they say on the tin. They are they are tactical. So thank you very much for watching. I can highly highly recommend these Helicon Urban Tactical pants. Just the same way as I could recommend anything that I've ever bought from Helicon, from the, 
the, uh, the gunfighter jackets to any of the pouches that they produce, uh, the backpacks. As far as I'm concerned, it's all really, really top quality gear. No one's paid me to say this. This is just something that I found out over time buying from lots of different companies. Um, Helicon is a company that I will be sticking with for, for as long as I can foresee. So thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, please ask in the comment section below. Give the, the video a thumbs up, please. Um, and feel free to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.